any fans of this show, the nonprofits, know by now that Oklahoma is no stranger to allowing Jesus into their classrooms. But are they also allowing Satan in as well? Eli, you're here to break it down for us. What's going on in Oklahoma? So Oklahoma House Bill 1425 uh, is going to require public schools to excuse up to three class uh, period absences per student per week to attend class in religious or moral instructions. Um, the classes will take place off campus, um, but they do not require a set curriculum or to be even taught by qualified teachers, but they count as elective credits. The Satanic Temple has established the Hellion Academy of Independent Learning, or HALE, in other states where release time classes already exist, but Oklahoma would be the first state in which HALE can offer academic credit uh, for the courses that they teach. Uh, since this article was first published, it has been updated twice to include that uh, state governor uh, Stitt has indeed signed the bill into law. So this is law in Oklahoma now, and it includes a message as well from state superintendent Ryan Walters, uh, making it clear that he does not intend to allow Satanists to participate in the, in the program. This article is by Hemant Mehta on the, at the Friendly Atheist, last updated on June 6, 2024. Yeah, the wonderful Hemet Meta. Uh, yeah. I, I always love Amazing reading guy. his stuff. Um, Eli, why do we have to release kids from school? Can't these people teach their kids religion at home? You know, that is exactly what I thought when um, we, we talked about LifeWise Academy uh, around a month ago. And, and uh, LifeWise Academy is mentioned in this. So this is based in Ohio. And they've been going in and busing, uh, taking a bus to the school to take kids off campus for this. The reason they have to do this, of course, is because you can't teach about religion in publicly funded schools. I think that the parents are the ones that like, if, if you want to teach your kids things that are not true, you have to do that. And you have to be able to justify why you believe that. Cause if you can't justify why you believe something to your child, then you can't justify it to yourself either. And you shouldn't even be believing it. I, I don't understand why they need it to be taught in school so badly. I, I don't know why they can't like, it, it's it, when I was a kid, it was just like I, I went to uh, church as a kid once a Sunday. Sometimes uh, Sunday nights we'd do like the King's Kids musical thing that we would just go like whatever, but it was just once a week. And there was never this whole idea of like we I, I didn't even think about it in school. Like it, it was never something that we thought about having taught at school. I always it was just separate. And I never I, I don't see why this push to get Jesus into the schools has, has taken such a uh, an increase in intensity lately. Mm. Yeah, but Sydney, it's only three classes a week. I mean, what is the big deal? The big deal is that Oklahoma is ranked 49th out of 50 in education, and they can't afford to miss any school no matter what it's for. That's it. That's it. That's the whole thing is like, I will listen to you talk about the benefits of skipping school to learn whatever else you want when you bare minimum bare minimum aren't in the bottom 10 when you're like if you if you make it to number 30 out of 50 in terms of educational quality content uh then we can talk about skipping school to learn other stuff and also um i i looked into it and i could not find a single writing program at any university that uh did not offer fiction so they've got a chance to learn that anyway in the future it's fine they don't need to do it in high school when they're already in the bottom two it's like look it up anybody who's offended by that probably from oklahoma look it up <sighs> like you know like, like my mom would always say things when i was a kid like hey get like we can't even talk about this until you get this done you know like we can't even talk about what you're going to do then until you got you get the first step. score l l you know what i'll make it easier be in the top 47 and mm. then we can talk about what you're allowed to <laughs> skip school for but until then I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to get that far if we consider the policies that the uh, state superintendent of public education – or what's his title? Uh, it's like the superintendent of public education, I think, for Oklahoma, uh, Ryan Walters. You know, in any case, if we keep seeing the policies that he is supporting and trying to drive home, they're probably going to stay where they're at, right? Um, I think the Lord. problem is – I think the problem is that Oklahoma didn't ban the bluest eye from their library. Uh, and it was all just downhill from there. Yeah. 
Yeah. So when it comes to book banning, uh, Oklahoma is no stranger to that. But, you know, when it comes to being unconstitutional, well, they're also no stranger. And Ryan Walters says, Eli, that there's going to be no Satanists. And let's not forget that the Satanists do want an equal part of this to be constitutional, of course. But Ryan mm-hmm. Walters says there will be no Satanists in this program. Uh, as the state superintendent of education, that's it. Uh, does he have any authority and can he get his way? I, I mean, he absolutely has authority. I hope that he doesn't get his way because I think it would be – well. Does he have the authority to prevent? I, I I don't know that he does. I think it would be unconstitutional for him to prevent mm-hmm. the uh, the satan the, the sat- satanic temple from participating because I think it's blatant discrimination of a protected status. And as an elected official, he he just is not allowed to do that. That is what the First Amendment is, is intended for directly. It seems like he doesn't understand the position that he holds or like what he's responsible for. The video, like his his statement to the Satanists, it was it just seemed kind of like I don't know what it was like. I know you guys like to lie and say that yeah, it was it was really performative, yeah. But um, it just like really kind of it was it was an attack sort of. It wasn't just like hey, like this is the case. Like I don't think the Satanism is a religion, so I'm not going to allow that. It was like Satanism is not a religion. You know, you're you're always going to lie and say that it is. But I'm like, you're like you hold office, man. Like that. I, it it seems like just an unbecoming way to kind of conduct himself, and it's unconstitutional as well. So it's it's it just looks bad all around on him. Yeah, and you know what's funny to me, Satan belongs to the Christians. I mean, that's <laughs> that's their guy. That's their guy. Uh, they should recognize that this is part of the dogma. This is very much part of the religion, right? It's almost centered on the religion, if you think about it. I mean, a, a, a major premise is that we're fighting against Satan, right? So uh, how could this not be religious uh, at its core? But it just goes to show his ignorance because, you know, Satanism is actually a, a very humanist uh, organization, right? Uh, and they they actually do a lot of good. I remember something like this taking place in, oh man, it's been a while, but I think it was like Minnesota, uh, where a, uh, we talked about this about a year ago on the nonprofits. But uh, you know, there was a school that wanted to um, do a similar or, or enact a similar policy like this. So, uh, or, or, uh, excuse me, it was like a town council and somebody waited online to, you know, vote in favor of it and say, thank you. And he gave a speech. Thank you for allowing me to bring my Satan's little devils after school program, uh, into the public school. And that was it. He, he was brilliantly created an after school program called, uh, Satan's little devils. Anyway, forgive me, I digress a little bit, but, uh, it's really fun what people can, people could come up with Sydney go ahead you had a comment so listen you guys are thinking about this all the wrong way this man is a genius and I'm going to tell you why because even even though he's in leadership in Oklahoma um I imagine he still knows his job um and so state (laughs) state laws cannot super cannot override national laws so for example if you are given a right based on the constitution no matter what laws that state comes up with, it can't, it cannot negate your constitutional rights. So this man knows that. He knows that there are certain things he can't do and are not allowed and are unconstitutional. But what he can do is he can secure his reelection by making sure everyone knows he ain't going to have no Satanists in his school. Mm -hmm. So when the polls come around, whether or not the Satanists ever show up, I don't think they're going to show up. I think Satanists do not care about this man's town. But when the next election comes up and people are trying to figure out who they're going to vote for, you know who they're going to vote for? That man who stood up and said out loud in today's America that he does not support Satanism. He stood in a time when the liberals want everyone to worship Satan. And he said that he wasn't going to allow the devil in his school and he's going to win. Yeah. And this, this speaks to religions relationship with education, if you will. I mean, this is a lot of material to miss out on. Let's face it, taking kids out of school for three different classes a week to learn what? 
basically a destructive and ancient mythology uh, instead of actually earning their education. And I think it would actually serve him well to keep people stupid, uh, you know, so that they do they do vote for him. Uh, and of course, that that's kind of a grand scale kind of thing. But, you know, Eli, what does it say about religion's relationship to education when people are okay with just not championing education and instead sticking their kids in church and, 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 you know, covering them with religion, if you will. Well, they, they don't think that they are, they don't think that putting their kids in churches is, is contrary to education. They think that spiritual and religious education is a part of the, um, the whole, you know, education experience. And that if you're, you're not learning scripture and you're not learning, you know, Jesus, then you're not really learning what's true the the idea that i i i don't believe i i accept that that religion prevents scientific progress or, or prevents academic progress progress in general i've said a number of times that like any good thing we get from religion we can get from a secular source and like do it just as well or better and the and that includes education absolutely the things that there are a good reason to believe are true are the things we should be learning during the school day. Those are the things we want to teach our society. When it comes to personal beliefs about metaphysical or, or um, the origins of the universe that don't fit with with data that we have collected over centuries, like those are things that you just don't teach to people as if they are true because they probably aren't. And that's religion's MO, so to speak, is, is just to stick to this one thing, regardless of the information they get that contradicts it. Like, nope, this is what's true. You're lying. You're wrong. You're conspiracy. You're, you're, you're them. It's the idea is to keep people ignorant, like you've said. And as long as they continue to believe that, but, but as long as they continue to believe the dogma, then you can control them. Mm. Well, Cindy, you brought up the election uh, aspect of this. And, you know, when it comes to education, wouldn't Walters be better off saying, hey, look, I took us from 49 to 46 or 49 to 39. Uh, and isn't this counterproductive? I mean, what are your thoughts on that? So I think one he says, I'm not going to allow Satanists in school. And everybody goes, yeah, that's right. And then it gets knocked down by the Supreme Court. And he can say, ugh, I did my best, you guys. But, you know, the 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 D words in office blocked everything that I tried. And everybody's going to go, you know who else tried really hard to save everyone and was persecuted? Jesus. <laughs> right. So you're doing the it's OK. We forgive you. You tried, but the government blocked you. Big, bad government. So they're like he doesn't have to do anything. He just has to say th this is what we're doing. And also, um, I do think it's counterproductive. I think it's incredibly counterproductive. I think it will be nothing but harmful. I also think we'll see that the people who choose to take the opportunity to leave class, we're going to see a pattern in the classes they choose to leave. And I wouldn't be surprised mm. if you look into this deeper, if you spend like a day deep diving into this, this probably actually started because there was a lot of arguments between parents in terms of what their kids were learning during science class, what they were learning during history. And the only way that they could pacify these parents is by being like, here's a legal way that you can pull your kid out of US history and you can pull your kid out of science and they're still learning because they're they're reading about history, but it's biblical history. And so in Pseudo my history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, yes. Do I think it's detrimental? Yes. Will it do only bad things? Yes. Is it doing exactly he wants it to do? Yes. Like, yes, it is. It is yeses all across the board. And the only people that will be negatively impacted by this are the students. Eli, there are some. I'm going to put this in air quotes, secular safeguards, right? They, they, mm. the school or, or the, uh, the state champions this idea that, well, we're going to keep it secular because we have these safeguards in place. Uh, do you want to talk about that at all? 
Yeah, so they some of the stipulations of the bill include that like the school cannot fund this in any way. It all has to be funded externally. It must be taught by an outside organization that's leading the classes. The parents must opt into the program. So it's not a default. Your kid is going to go unless you tell us no. And there are certain classes that they can't skip. And I went and I double checked it when you were talking about like this, like which classes they were looking at. Cause the, the only ones mentioned in the article are English and math. I haven't looked any further into it, oh, but I'm curious to see if science, science classes are classes that are eligible to be skipped for the purpose of attending this, this um, off campus class. I really want to figure that out, but I'll have to do it another time. That they are. Uh, I, I, I would imagine so. So these are things I think definitely make it I, I I I I put it as more constitutional before, but I don't know if that's really like I don't know if that's an accurate way to describe it. I think things that definitely make it sit a little better with me, like it would be worse if those things weren't in place. But I don't think that necessarily helps in any way. It's still very clearly like a poorly disguised attempt to like push Christian nationalism in Oklahoma, mm. and. I mean, yeah, I I don't know if I have much more to expand on that. I just it. It, I, I, those safeguards, I think, are just for show. I think it's like just yeah. to appease yeah. It's the... a way. It's a way to justify or or to fight back and say no. This is not unconstitutional. Uh, and I think we're in uh, a bit of a dichotomy here, or or there's an ambiguity to why this is so bad, right? There's uh, there's the education portion, which, by the way, I just have to say, English and math. Taking away uh, a child a child's ability to uh, read and to handle their finances uh, that's going to keep them dependent on the state and dependent on uh, you know the church for for what it's worth. Uh, but then we've also got this other aspect of of constitutionality, um, and you know what what is really the goal here? I mean, what what are we really upset about, if you will? Uh, would we be happier if other religions satanist groups uh were able to take part equally i mean will this will this make us go yeah okay it's constitutional or would it still be just as bad because we're taking kids out of school city what do you think so if like let's just say oklahoma tomorrow was like you know what we're gonna open this to uh muslims we're mm -hmm. gonna open this to people who are jewish great i would love to see the percentage of the population that is impacted by either of those belief systems right mm -hmm. just like it's easy to claim that your political stance is something that you know eventually is going to get blocked by higher powers than you and you're like oh no um it's also easy to be welcoming and inclusive in an area where you don't have to worry about those people actually showing up like i would love to know how many satanists actually live in oklahoma right mm -hmm. um there are certain people certain people in this country who I think their number one way of thinking and behaving is based on uh, problems they've invented in their mind and are now defending against problems that they invented in their brain. Like what if Satanists show up? What if a bunch of like, people who are Muslim show up? Okay. Maybe cross that bridge when you come to it. Maybe, but um, in the same way, that it's useless for him to say no Satanists allowed because uh, you just can't do that. Uh, it's also useless to, and it's performative and it's a tactic to include uh, people that you know you won't actually have show up to stuff. And it's easy to say, fine, we'll allow everybody when you know the only people that'll show up are Christians and non-Christians. Um, and and th both of those can be true. So if a, if somebody who was non-Christian came out and maybe they live in like Southern Louisiana and they said, you know what, I'm going to make an after-school atheist program. Statistically, I feel like that's performative and it wouldn't actually be doing anything, but they're pandering toward an audience that's going to go, wow, good for you, even yeah. though nobody shows up. And you know something, you raise an interesting point because the group, the Satanist group that actually showed interest in this is based out of Massachusetts. I mean, exactly. they're all the way up in the Northeast, right? There, There's nobody in 
Oklahoma that uh, that is subscribing to a Satanist theory. And, you know, we covered this on the or I shouldn't say Satanist theory, uh, sat- Satanist practices, if you will. Um, but we covered a similar issue on the nonprofits a couple weeks ago when we talked about Ron DeSantis, the uh, the governor of Florida, who invented this this uh <laughs> the conspiracy the conspiracy about how democrats are planning on world domination and they're going to achieve that by feeding people artificial beef what well <laughs> go figure that the largest beef producing population in the country uh is in florida right so uh we've got to create yeah we've got to create a boogeyman yeah um, so so you know making these comparisons you know i want to draw upon the point uh that eli made uh in his notes preparing for tonight's show, you made a comparison to the group LifeWise, uh, and I was at, I wanted to know if you could expand on that. Yeah, so um, like I mentioned earlier, they are based out of, I think, Greenville, Ohio. I could be wrong. They're in Ohio, and um, they're doing the same thing already, basically. They, take, they have this really rad, like, big red school bus that they take to the school, and, like, all the kids that are going to go, they get these red shirts, and they put on the go to the uh, – to some church or somewhere off campus for a free period, like a library period or something. And they apparently are teaching like over 35,000 students across the country in like 50, I think 53 school districts. Um, they go and they take these kids out of places where they're learning like real true things and teach them about like magic and how to hate things the right way. And that is where I think like you asked a little bit earlier, like does, you know, including Satanists or including all religions make it, you know, more constitutional? Sure. Does it make me happier about it? No, because I still don't like religion. I still don't think religion should be taught to right. kids, especially in school. And that's sort of just where I land on it. And I think Greenville really, or uh, sorry, uh, LifeWise really sort of, uh, as far as I can tell, it seems like they sort of opened the door and said the ones they started getting so successful now it's it's starting to take root in other places as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that comparison. Sydney, I'm going to give you the closing remarks and we will head out. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, I don't think any religion should be taught in school. And I don't think Oklahoma can afford to pull kids out of school right now. Like, mm-hmm. again, if mm-hmm. they like if they prove to me in the next four years that they can start passing tests with higher grades, that their literacy levels will improve, that this and that, the other, that it means so much to them that they're willing to pull their grades up by the bootstraps and change their educational stance, then we can talk about making changes, which I still don't think should involve any religion whatsoever. But this idea that the the state that is struggling second to last in education in this country is like, you know what will help? Less school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, religion may very well have a place in school, but it's certainly not in place of English, math, or any other category. In fact, it should be taught alongside uh, the other mythologies. I read the book, I read I read the work uh, of Odysseus, uh, the Iliad, in eighth grade, and, you know, that would be a perfect place to introduce this true? kind of, yeah, mythological thinking. Uh, and we at the nonprofits are going to continue to highlight these issues, and if you want to see more, click the link below.